Hello guys, I'm Ada Shan, and welcome back to A Mortician's Tale. <coughs> We're gonna jump straight back in. March the 10.45am. Oh, she's cleaning the... No, I can't remember the name of it. The end of the sea, maybe? I don't know. Okay, Chad Grant. We are pleased to bring on Rose and Daughters as part of the Hill eh, as part of Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. There will be another institution among hundreds of other properties owned across the country. But of course, as part of the adjustment process to the HHE Inc. culture, there will be a number of changes that will come to Rose and Daughters. We will send out the memo regarding the specifics and details of these changes and we expect them to be followed impeccably. Glad to be leading the way for Rose and Daughters from now on. Oof. Anyway, what the hell? What the hell? Can I just say first off, off that this is bull crap? Ugh, knowing how these corporations run, I wouldn't be surprised if they're monitoring our emails now. No, okay, I don't really believe that. I'm just upset. I get that Amy didn't have much of a choice. You can only fight a huge corporation t taking all of our business for so long. This isn't six feet under. And they just swooped in and now we have to deal with their BS practices. They're colder than the corpse I picked up from the morgue this morning. Who charges this much for funerals? It feels dirty and exploitive. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's grab a drink after work. I need to blow off some steam and emails aren't really the most appropriate place to do this. Too late for me, I guess. Uh, can't really write much right now, I have a lot of work I have to do in Inguinal Hernia from 1750. It's the oldest in our collection, you can even see this bit of paper the surgeon put in after removing the hernia. Super cool, I'll send you the link when we have it catalogued. What is my life? What is that sentence I just typed? But anyway, this event that I'm forwarding you is taking place near you. Figured you'd be into it. Might help with that feeling of restlessness you were talking about before. Could be a, could be good to talk about some of the things you're feeling. Lots of death positive people there. Sounds like it'll be a safe space. Come, increase awareness of death with a view to helping people make the most of their finite lives. Join us, have tea and cake and talk with others about our thoughts, fears and illuminations on death. The founder of the Death Cafe movement, John Underwood, once said, when people talk about death and dying, it tends to illustrate their humanity. See everyone at the Upside Down Jar next Thursday. Death Cafe. Okay, this is a long one. De uh, different funeral traditions. Funeral rites, even in our own culture, may be something many of us may be familiar unfamiliar with. For many people, all they know of funeral traditions are what they've seen in the media. But, and I think this goes without saying, funeral rites and traditions aren't the same across the board. Different cultures have different protocols for cleaning the body to different aspects of the service itself. Religion provides different paths for dealing with a death, but the goal is almost always the same, offering support, guidance and ease to the people who are grieving. In Judaism, intimate usually means immediately after somebody has passed, up until burial, the body is never supposed to be alone, so often families will appoint a shoma, forgive it, me if I said that wrong, a guardian to remain with the body. Preparations for burial begin as soon as possible in Muslim traditions as well. Local Islamic community organisations are also often involved and help the family make arrangements for the funeral service and burial. But not all practices are strictly religiously focused. In the Orts in South Korea, the amount of graveyard space began to shrink drastically, causing a law to be passed that requires families to remove a loved one's body from its burial place after 60 years. Many families began to cremate more often, but there are also co- oh, excuse me. Oh, big yard. Oh, well, let's say it's only, it's like a half past ten at night. Also companies that compress remains into beads in turquoise, pink or black called death beads. This also occurs in North America, Europe and Japan, but remains much more common in South Korea because of the space issue in graveyards and the expenses of cremation. And not all practices are sombre either. Ever hear of the turning of the bones? Or, oh, I am so sorry. 
Samadhihana. Please correct me if I say that wrong, which I probably will. And I'll probably say this other word wrong. A ritual by the Malagasy people of Madagascar. Um, the turning of the bones has families returned to an ancestral crypt, exhumed the bodies wrapped in cloth before dancing with the bodies to lively music. This practice is a celebration, remembrance, and a way of keeping the deceased involved in family news. Death can be a difficult time for many people, obviously, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a beauty in the ways we choose to honour and celebrate our deceased. Mm. Uh, okay. Charlotte. Below are the details of our next client. I'm sure you follow the requested sp specifications exactly. After you're done, I'll review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. Thank you, Mr. Grant, for agreeing to take care of Jocelyn's cremation. The bike accident was, well, it was more than I was expecting. I know she wanted to be cremated, and to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her like that after what happened. Thank you, Leah. I don't like you. Right. Hmm. We offer many packages, blah blah blah. Bronze funeral package. An intimate gathering of a memorial for your loved one, customised to fit your individual needs. Best suited 25 to 50. Silver. A small but special celebration for your loved one, best suited for 50 to 100. Gold. Give your loved one the best with the best we have to offer. Payment plan available. A large gathering to celebrate your loved one. Best suited for groups for 100. Additional fees and taxes. It said they haven't actually got prices on here anymore. Newest free and rural home to join Hillside Heritage, proudly serving 56 different communities nationwide since 1964. Rose and Daughters features several available packages for burial information, a spacious vegetation site, ready comfort and catering is available on site. Rely on our dedicated and friendly staff to help you with your funeral needs, whether you need our immediate assessments for one, or would like to pre-plan your own funeral arrangements. Oh wait. I'll get right to it. Asshole. <coughs> Maybe graphic guys, just a warning, I don't know. Oh no. Ionesco's body for cremation. Remove the watch. Place it on the tray. That in the coffin. Okay. Mm. Charlotte. I gotta say, I don't like this guy. Cremulator. That's the word. <coughs> Bone. Bone. Oh. How do I? Oh, that's how. That. And a lid. And we're done. <coughs> now to go to the funeral. I've got an itch. No, oh, there's a lot of people here. She has pink hair. Kind of about she's our walls. Right, you start over there and work away that way. So glad it was a commotion. I would have lost it seeing her body. These two. I have to go through all of her things. How am I supposed to decide what to keep? If you need help, I can help. No. Thanks, I mean, but no. I don't know. It's so intimate. Feels like I should do it myself. She would kill me if others saw the things we have. Ah, yeah, she was kind of a closed book, except to you. Yeah. Yeah, she was special. I'm glad I'm here, but wow, I just need a glass of wine and to binge watch something right now. Ooh, binge watching. She was always so careful, wore a helmet, signalled use the bike lanes, asshole drivers, they need to pay attention. Have you heard what's happening to the driver? No, I haven't wanted to ask Leah. This has been hard enough on them, without asking about the legal ramifications of all this. Yeah. 
After all this, let's see what we can do to help them. Shouldn't deal with the death of their partner all by themselves. Should we do a vigil at the spot? Careless drivers, I swear to God. Aww. March 24th, 10.30am. What do these assholes want this time? <clears throat> Is Matthew upset again? Let me just check the website first. Uh, oh, here we go. Hello, as stated in a previous email, here are the new rules and code of conduct I expect you to follow from now on while you're on the premises belonging to HHE Inc. First and foremost, there is a required uniform and strict dress code from now on. Second most importantly to this is that no tattoos are to be visible. That'd be screwed for me because I've got the dishonoured symbol on the back of my left hand. If you have visible tattoos, assure they are properly covered and hidden. That's discriminatory, but okay. When speaking with customers and clients, consider the opportunity upsell, i.e. always encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase the higher quality package. Ooh, I don't like this guy. We find that encouraging loved ones to think of the comfort and style of the deceased is an experience with no price limit on it. Additionally, food is no longer allowed to be brought in. Instead, encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food package. Our partner, Caper Catering Concepts, provides high quality food that will be delivered weekly from their factory and can easily be defrosted the morning of the funeral. I expect all of the above changes to be instituted and effective immediately to ensure a smooth transition into the high quality service HHE Enterprises Inc. is no H H E Inc. is known for. I'm having serious problems. Um now I've got to see this one. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Charlie, I need a drink. Beer after work. P.S. I really want mozzarella sticks. I can be both hungry and angry. No, I'll not say hangry, ever. That's the first time I've ever said that. He's an ass. Right. Hello, Charlotte. Not Charlie, Charlotte. I reviewed your request on behalf of a potential family inquiring if we at HHE and nah, Inc. can and will perform green burials. I should have informed you of this in the beginning, but we do not perform green burials as they are not cost effective. All employees and subsidiaries of HHE Inc. must comply. We do not wish to lose potential customers though, so do try your hardest to convince the families requesting green burials to instead choose a traditional burial package complete with embalming caskets and vaults instead. I trust you'll ensure we do not lose any customer, Charlotte. I don't like this guy. <sighs> Let me sit here. Get comfy. The appeal of a funeral home is apparent. Hang on, what's the title? Funeral home funerals, my dude. It's very apparent for many, especially if the deceased was somebody very close to you. The idea of keeping them at home until they're ready to be buried or cremated can be comforting. It wasn't that long ago that we were taking care of our own deceased, but nowadays people are quick to pass off their loved ones to a funeral home. Most families aren't given the option and assume this is mandatory. Funeral homes will almost always prepare the deceased using embalming and other methods to make them appear more alive. But isn't this process counterintuitive to the grieving process? I never thought of it that way. Being around the deceased allows the bereaved to spend longer, a longer period of time with their loved one's body, which can help them mourn or give opportunities to family members and friends to see the deceased one last time before they are taken to be buried or cremated. The idea of keeping the deceased's body at home might sound gross, but it's important to understand that decomposition takes a long time and you can further slow this process by keeping your home cool and dry. To be around your loved ones and see them decay naturally is an important part of the grieving process. Funeral homes aren't just more intimate, but they are economical. A traditional funeral, complete with prep, body prep service, flowers, cards and many other hidden costs and fees, can cost upwards of seven to $10,000. When you're able to take care of your loved one yourself, to wash and dress them and organise their viewing from home, the only cost remaining is entirely in the cremation or burial itself. 
However, it's important to understand that different rules apply given on what state you live in. In all states, it's legal to have your loved one's body at home after they die. States like Alabama, Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, Nebraska, New Jersey, and New York require a funeral director's involvement, from signing the death certificate to overseeing burial or cremation. If this is a route you decide to go for yourself or your loved ones, make sure you follow everything by the book. But just know that this may be an option available to you and your loved ones if you so choose. Now this. I just saw a video of a gorilla walking on its hind legs. Like a human being, Charlie, a human being. We as a species have seen the beginning of our end. She's weird. <sighs> Gods. Charlotte, I am proud to announce that HHE Inc. received a contract with the city to dispose of any unclaimed bodies. This is an important revenue stream for us, and I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, Charlotte. Although HHE Inc. is being paid a decent wage from the city for these services, commission is preferred here as it's the more cost efficient of the two options. The first unclaimed body we will be handling belongs to a middle-aged man, possibly homeless, whose body is yet to be claimed. No special prep are needed for this cadaver aside from cremation. I don't like this man. I just have to make that clear now. Aww. He doesn't seem to have any valuables on him that would be damaged during cremation, so let's worry about putting the identification in the coffin with him. Oh, I'm sorry. Will there be no funeral then? Oh, I hate to think of people like being on their own like that. That's just, it's sad. Yes. What, just because he's homeless, he doesn't get, I can't pick, oh, there we go. He doesn't get a decent thingy bob. That's sad. Matthew will take the end to the funeral parlour and present it alongside some flowers. Why have we got to go in here if there's no actual, like, funeral? Oh. That's a respectful move. That, that is really, really sad. April 9th, 10.19am. Oh, they're coming. There's a bottle on the floor. It's a register of business. Latest contract acquisition hospital. Hello all. We are thrilled to announce that HHE Inc. subsidiary Rose and Daughter has just signed a contract with the Morning Valley Hospital, allowing us access to all of the cadavers that come through their paediatric and maternity wards. Mm. We're excited for the opportunity to work with Morning Valley Hospital, which intakes over 100,000 patients and receives over $15 million in funding and donations annually. This will no doubt be a boon for Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. Bright and sustained future. I hate you. Charlie, it's official. I've put in my two weeks notice. You know that how I ain't happy I am working for Mega Corporation 101. My skills, especially my driving ones, are useful in other professions. I'm not worried about myself. But you, you I am worried about. You're too good for this corporate scum. You usually actually care about the people you work with and for. Don't let them defeat you, okay? Yes, I'll bring beers over next week. We can talk a bit more freely. Oh, God. I kissed her. Dating a special effects makeup artist, and she is, like, the coolest person I've ever met in my life. She totally loves Ava's possession. I don't know what that is. And was equally freaked out by the possession scenes, but so utterly delighted at the idea of a support group for people who have been possessed. That was your best recommendation in a while, Charlie. You were slipping there. I was getting worried about you. Worried you had lost your taste. 
But yeah, her name is Lily. Uh, we've had Leah, which is my eldest daughter, and now we've got Lily, who's my youngest daughter. And she's super death positive and isn't freaked out by my work, and also isn't too into it like that last dude I saw, Jason, Michael, bah, I can't remember. I just really like spending time around her. I can talk about whatever I want and it's never a conversation stopper. She also totally gets what I mean when I say like, working with death and spending so much time thinking about death actually makes me happier. It makes everything else feel so much more worth it, you know? Memento Mori, or whatever they taught us in that one poetry class we took. We just clicked. Feels good. Fun and affirming, like dating should be. I'm thinking of taking her to Maple Meadows. She's super into roller coasters, I don't blame her. And I think the idea of sharing cotton candy, or maybe not, I don't want to throw up on the rides, is sickeningly cute. Then maybe I'll kiss her on top of her Ferris wheel. Be super corny and cliche for once in my life. Oh, that's really, really cute. Anywho, enough about me for now, I'm st still kind of in shock from your last email. Do you really think you're going to do it? You know you have my support 100%, no matter what you decide. What did she decide? Uh, I want... I see you were not able to convince the Dimka family to take a standard funeral. I had to contact them myself in order to not lose this sale. Please read the enclosed emails for a lesson on how to do it properly. How to properly upsell to potential customers. I don't want to see we've lost any customers because of your refusal to upsell. This is part of your job. Let me go to the bottom then. Regarding last time we spoke, my daughters and I would still prefer to host a home funeral ourselves and keep my wife here until she's ready to be buried. I just want to make sure she's taken care of. Her heart attack was so sudden, I we don't know what to do. I just want to make sure she has a proper send-off. Thanks, Kofi Dimka. I understand your desire to keep your wife at home, but I assure you, the best way to honour your wife is through a traditional funeral package instead. I promise you, your wife's funeral with us will be a beautiful, intimate gathering, where all of her beloved friends and family can come together to say their goodbyes. A standard M of balming will allow for everyone to view your wife, ensuring that everyone can see her one final time as she was. Beautiful, peaceful and courageous. You didn't know her. Let us take care of the food with our prepared food service will ensure you don't have a single thing to worry about on this day. You and your daughters are going to be going through a hard time right now. Let us here at Rose and Daughters make this difficult time a little easier for you. Asshole. Okay, we'll take the traditional funeral package. Thank you for considering us in this hard time. You're a dick. What are these on about now? Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. Water cremation. Eh. We can call it a few different things, like flameless cremation, a bit of an oxymoron, but we'll let it slide. Or perhaps more commonly, resumation. Its technical name, though, is actually is actually alkaline hydro hydrolysis. Whatever we want to call it, it's here and it's environmentally friendly alternative traditional cremation. I had a problem. There. They put my teeth back in, I think. But for the sake of this newsletter, let's call it water cremation. We all know that traditional cremation and burials take a huge toll on the environment. The high energy consumption that adds to the greenhouse gas effect being one of the chief amongst them. And water cremation is an alternative method available for the eco-conscious amongst... That should be amongst us, really. Anyway, how does it work? It's basically a water-based chemical process that uses really strong alkali in water heated up very high, about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It basically works like a sped-up version of natural decomposition. The excess water gets put through the same water treatment process as any sewage water at a factory, and alkaline hydrolysis... Hydrolysis? Oh well. Is that spelt, that's spelt different up there. Anyway, significantly less uses significantly less energy than traditional cremation processes. Neat, huh? It's been around for a bit and in some places become legal ar around the end of the first decade of the aughts. Not bad alternative for those who don't want their death to, death to have any greater impact on the environment than necessary. Right, let me just check this here. What's your business? Why are we looking at... Are we interested... Are we going to start a business? Are we going to start our own? 
Oh, she's all surgeon-y. Open casket funeral, let's start by Queen. She's staring at me. Oh, do, does she have a heart attack? Is that what this was? Break rigor mortis by massaging the body. Is that actually how it's done? I need to do some research. Glue it to my sock. Cotton balls in the noof. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Moisturize. Oh, I missed. You are like really precise. Incision in the neck, not, not your neck, but okay. Attach a cannula. Additional tooling. Turn on the machine. Oh, excuse me. Come on. You've got to be really precise. Da -da 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 she just looks like she's asleep. My granddad didn't. When he died in 2007, he didn't look like he was sleeping. I went to see him in the funeral home and it was actually a chapel at the hospital. And he definitely didn't look like he was sleeping. No way. And I was... God. What, 16 at the time? I think. Something like that. And he didn't look like he was sleeping at all. It... I'd stayed over my nan and granddad's house so many times growing up. And I'd seen him sleeping, he used to fall asleep in his chair and all sorts. And... Yeah. It just, it wasn't like sleeping. I'm sorry, I mean, have you guys ever seen your family or friends or... Anything like any people in a funeral home, what were your experiences? I just, ooh. And I kissed his forehead and it was, he was really cold. And I, just, I was in that room and I'm, all I can remember is just thinking, it's freezing in here. And I'm in here with a shell. And I, I know it sounds harsh, but that wasn't my granddad. What made my granddad my granddad had gone on to whatever comes next. Do you think we did the right thing? I feel bad for not doing what mum asked for. I know, honey, but what that Chad guy said seems right. We don't want to dishonor her memory by letting her rot. Sniffles. Yeah, I just want mum to know I loved her. Wish I hadn't yelled at her before. Shh, it's okay. She knew you loved her. Fights happen. Please don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Me too. I talk to these people. This feels so impersonal. She would have hated this. Yeah, but I don't know. They must have had their reasons. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, what do you think of that little trailer I sent you? Oh, yeah, I've heard that show's so good. I saw that video of the one kid actor doing karaoke. Oh, there were strange things talking about the funeral. It's so cold in here. I think they might have the air conditioning on too high. Yeah, let's go for a walk later. It's really nice out. It would be good to stretch my legs. It's all going to shit, isn't it? I'm starving. Why do these things always make me so hungry? You're always hungry. Mm. August 30th, 9am. Oh! Looks like this one's going to be a bit longer. Congratulations. Charlie dear, I'm so proud of you. I knew there was something special in you when I hired you for Rose and Daughters. If there is anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. P.S. I solely miss you and Matthew's terrible sense of humour. Hey Charlie, when I 
first became a hearse driver, I was told that my what now open I can never believe what job new job I'm working now. I hope nothing else about that. Uh, the most important job wasn't steering, it was synth synthesize synthesizing. I respectfully disagree, and thankfully I concentrate on my driving skills. Since I'm now working as a wait for it, bus driver. A school bus driver, Charlie. Can you believe that? Pretty sure if I said the most important part of my job now wasn't steering, I'd be fired immediately. I didn't know how else to tell you. For some reason I was worried you'd think less of me. But I don't know why you've never been the judgmental kind. And besides, corpses are way easier to deal with than children. Screaming children, might I add. I actually love it. These kids can be pretty cute. But don't tell Amy I told you about that. She was always harping on at me for not having any kids and for being all cynical about them. Congrats on your new business, Charlie. I'm proud of you. I'll swing by your new place one day and show you my new wheels. Maybe you can grab a bite to eat. Be seeing you. I will be seeing Charlie, I'm so happy for you. I know it's been a rough year for you. Seriously, I think our wine intake saw a bazillion percent increase. But you've stuck through it all like a champ. You deserve this. Finally being your own boss is a great move for you. No more having to explain anything you don't want to. I'm trying to not be too cheesy right now. Can't wait to be home next week for our visit and check out your new space. P.S. Have you heard about those green burial pods? When I find the link in my one million open tabs, I'll shoot it over to you. I wonder what happened with, those girlfriend, with her girlfriend. Today's the day already, isn't it? I can't believe how quickly this has come up. Thank you for understanding and for your work. You've made today easier already. See you at 1pm. I'll see you soon. Oh, she's got her tattoos on show. Oh, we've got like green burial. Oh, that is awesome. This hurts. I thought it'd be easier, but it's not. It hurts so much. But thank you for helping me give her the funeral she always wanted. Anyway, I think we're ready to get started now. supposed to be doing I didn't look at the website oh that's that but it will it is in that tab but that was amazing actually I, I really enjoyed that that's one of the few games. It's, it's more story driven and I like it. I like it a lot actually. And yeah, they did ruin it. Like, the big corporation. They ruined it for everybody and it went from, you know, being about people to being all about money and blah. So yeah, it's one of them things. Oh, they've even credited the pet. Unity? Ah. No. Well, that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. As previously. Oh. Um, the link to the game is down in the description below. Like I say, it's $8.99 on itch.io and created by Laundry Bear. And you've just seen the others. And. It's amazing, honestly. I just want to see. I just want to read the website. I've seen the rest, I just want to see the website. Uh, Magnolia Forest, funeral home and natural burial park. Magnolia Forest, named after the magnolia trees that surround the funeral home, specializes in at-home funerals and green burials in our natural burial park. Our goal is to empower families and encourage them to have a closer relationship with death and the dying process. The death of a loved one can be confusing and sometimes traumatic time, and we want you to feel truly involved in your loved one's death care decisions. Whether you're looking to care for your loved one from the comfort of your own home, be present during their cremation, or bury them in our natural ceremony, Magnolia Forest is here to work with you and provide these simple but intimate and meaningful options. Natural Burial Park Our natural burial park allows the body to return to the earth and recycle naturally. 
It is intended as an environmentally sustainable alternative to existing funeral practices. Our park has room for bodies of all size and ages, as well as beloved pets. Families also have the option to bury their loved ones themselves, if they so choose. Prices? We believe in being transparent about our prices and practices. We are happy to explain all of our prices, work within your budget and hope to make you feel comfortable and confident in your decisions. Let us know if we can answer any of your questions. Home funeral, $1,000, all inclusive. Green burial and service, $2,250 for adults, all inclusive. Direct cremation, $600, all inclusive. Infants are buried at no charge. We can provide a three by three plot and help out in enclosing the grave. So there we go. I did that. And then we'll go back to the main menu. I'm glad I went back to that because that is actually really nice. Though, I will say, I, I don't like the talk of infants. I don't like even the thought of that. I have a two year old and she's three on Saturday. And it's just one of those things. I No. But yeah, it's, it's a really, really good game. I really enjoyed every second of playing it. And I really do hope to find more like this. Um, I don't know, it's just really thought-provoking and it's really deep and meaningful. And, yeah, it's, it's incorporated different faiths as well. And we've had that trans issue and, you know, the kid wanting one thing and his parents wanting it. Was it his parents? Yeah, his parents wanting the other. I do wonder, actually, what would have happened if we'd have gone for... No, I don't feel comfortable. But maybe I'll explore that. I'll replay it and explore it. But yes. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. Hit the little bell. Let you know when I upload. I am going to be uploading a lot more frequently now. Um, it'll be every other day or so. Um, there will be a schedule uh, poking about on my Twitter somewhere. Um, the link for that is also down in the description below. I do also have Instagram, that's on the, in the description as well. Feel free to connect with me, give me a shout. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but thanks for sticking with me guys. Let me know what you thought of the game and what your views are towards funerals what you'd like or one that you've heard about and you would want to explore further but yes for now i shall see you all later guys thanks for watching bye